In 2013, the Islamic Republic of Iran shocked the world by unveiling a jet that looked like it came straight out of a sci-fi film. Sleek, sharp-edged, and painted jet black. The aircraft stood proudly under the name Car F-313, promoted as Iran's answer to the world's fifth-generation stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. This bold unveiling quickly caught the attention of aviation enthusiasts, military analysts, and skeptics alike. The Ka-313, meaning conqueror, was presented as a symbol of Iran's technological self-sufficiency and military modernization. But the reality, as many soon discovered, was far more complicated. Asterisk, the first thing that grabbed global attention, was the aircraft's strange proportions. At first glance, it looked like a small-scale prototype, more like a mock-up for a movie prop than a fully functioning warplane. The cockpit appeared to be unusually small, so small, that most average pilots would barely fit inside it comfortably. The landing gear looked overly simplified and lacked the rugged, reinforced complexity, typically seen on actual fighter jets meant to endure carrier landings or high-speed takeoffs. The overall airframe design also raised eyebrows. Its edges were sharp and angular, likely intended to mimic stealth technology, but experts quickly noticed several structural issues. The wings were tiny compared to the fuselage, and the intakes were oddly placed for proper jet engine airflow. Asterisk, Iranian media and officials touted the Car 313 as a homegrown, radar evading multi role fighter with advanced avionics and stealth capabilities. They claimed it could carry weapons internally and perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Some reports even suggested it had fly-by-wire control systems, radar-absorbing materials, and advanced sensors. However, no independent verification was provided and many of these claims were quickly met with doubt. Defense experts from around the world began dissecting every frame of the released footage, from its suspiciously small air intakes to the apparent absence of any jet exhaust on some models. It became evident that what was shown may not have been a flight ready jet at all. Asterisk later videos and images revealed some modifications. In newer versions, we saw the aircraft taxiing on a runway, a step up from its static displays. This was hailed by Iranian state media as proof that the jet could indeed fly though no footage of actual flight was ever released publicly. For a fifth-generation stealth aircraft, flight performance is everything speed, radar cross-section, sensor fusion, and survivability in contested airspace. But so far, the CAR 313's performance remains largely theoretical. Asterisk. Critics also pointed out the obvious lack of visible weapon bays or mounting points. If it were designed to be a stealth multi roly fighter, internal weapon storage would be essential, yet the car didn't appear to have space for anything substantial. Some observers went further, speculating that the aircraft may have been built from composite materials, or even fiberglass to keep the mock-up light and easy to maneuver for display purposes. The cockpit instrumentation, when shown, looked extremely basic, possibly repurposed from older aircraft. Asterisk, despite the criticism, it's essential to understand what the CAR-313 actually represents for Iran. For a country facing decades of arms embargoes, economic sanctions, and technological isolation, even creating an ambitious prototype like the KR serves multiple purposes. It's a psychological and political statement, a symbol of defiance, and domestic innovation for Iran's internal audience. The unveiling was a morale booster and a message of strength. For external observers, especially adversaries, it was a reminder that Iran is working to modernize its military weather. The project is fully functional or not. Asterisk another angle to consider is that Kerr 313 may not have been built for combat at all. Instead, it might serve as a test platform, a propaganda tool, or a proof of concept for future designs. Iran has shown increasing sophistication in drone technology and missile development. So it's plausible that the knowledge gained from K development could be feeding into other more practical defense projects. Iran's defense doctrine doesn't rely solely on traditional air superiority like the US or Russia. Instead, it emphasizes asymmetric warfare using drones, missile, barrages, and guerrilla tactics over direct air-to-air. -air. In that sense, the car might be less about actual deployment and more about sending a message. Asterisk, as of now, the jet remains largely shrouded in mystery. There's still no public evidence that it has achieved sustained flight or that it has undergone rigorous testing under real combat conditions. Western analysts continue to label it a mock-up or a non-functional prototype. That said, some Iranian sources claim that flight tests are ongoing behind closed doors and that the aircraft will eventually be integrated into Iran's air force. Whether those claims are credible or just part of strategic messaging remains to be seen. Asterisk what can't be denied, however, is the CAR 313's visual impact. With its stealth-inspired design and futuristic look, it captures the imagination. For viewers on YouTube and followers of military aviation, it's one of those aircraft that continues to spark debate. Is it real? Is it a bluff? Or is it a stepping stone towards something much bigger? 
Asterisk in the end. The car 313 may not be the game changer it was announced to be, but it plays a significant role in Iran's broader defense narrative. It tells a story of a nation trying to break barriers, challenge perceptions, and build a future on its own terms. And whether or not it ever becomes a combat-ready aircraft, it has already succeeded in its mission of getting the world's attention. Asterisk, 